With such an abundance of pristine natural landscapes, it's easy to see why people from all corners of the globe are drawn to this region. What's less obvious is how the land has been providing for its people for thousands of years. Enter local man Juan, who's been sharing this knowledge passed down through his ancestral lines with visitors to help connect cultures. Hi, my name is Juan. Yulmbrul Nyebubu. Come see it my way. I am part Gugielangi on my father's side and Torres Strait Island on my mother's. Um, I was born and raised here, so I was lucky when I was younger, spent a lot of time with my grandparents. They were born up in the bush, lived a traditional lifestyle. When they were, were taken and moved to the missions, that was also, you know, quite an important part of the history we have to teach. With my grandparents, we were lucky that they were very keen to make sure that we learn about the natural environments and how they live. Basically, the tool we've designed to give people an idea of the basics of surviving and living in this region. This place here is known as Kuyu Beach. It's a special place for our people. In Gugu Yalanji, we call it Guyu Guyu. Guyu Guyu. Guyu Guyu. And that means lots of fish. We're going to go for a little walk down and check out some mangrove habitat and some coastal mudflats and hopefully yeah, find some food down in the mangroves and yeah, give you guys an idea of what our people, the Gugu Yalanji people, utilised in traditional times. A little strange at first walking through this mud, so follow us out, none to be scared of. As we're walking out, just keep your eyes on the ground for any little mud crabs and shapes of mud crabs in the mud. For some people it's quite daunting, but once you get through it, people find it a once in a lifetime experience for them, once they've been out there and done it. There you go, little fella. Another little one. So, so too small to eat. Too small to eat, just a baby. Um, legal size, they have to be uh, around a kilo. Especially for international people who come from big cities, um, it's alien to them. Just even throwing a rock is sometimes difficult for them. Yes! <laughs> so it's always good to get them out, just go through the basics, how to hold a spear safely, then throw it, then we give them a little bit of a practice run. Most people they find it quite amusing, I find it amusing anyways, um, trying to hit targets. So lean off your back foot and as you step forward, push and push. Oh, no. Nope. That's it, that's good. <laughs> Our people, you know, we had everything at our doorstep. We have fish in abundance, turtles, reptiles, mammals, and then of course in the treetops, many, many different bird species as well. Just the diversity here is amazing because of the, this unique meeting of those two ecosystems. Welcome to the oldest rainforest in the world. This is the most southern end of the Danish rainforest, and this place, they say, predates the Amazon anywhere from 65 to 110 million years. Yeah, we actually don't call it the rainforest, we call it Maja. 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 And Maja, to us, means boss. Boss. So this is our boss. We don't own it, it owns us. This area is everything. It's our history, it, it holds our culture, everything we practice and do, you know, it, it's, a, it's a part of us and a part of the land. And it, it also gives us grounding, you know, whenever you feel a bit stressed out, the best thing I think any of us can do is go bush for a little while, sit in the country and actually have time to ourselves and think. Most people when they come here, all they see is a complex wall of green. But for Gugi Alanji and other rainforest peoples, it's a medicine chest, tool shed, hardware store and church, all in one. If you scratch around through the sand here, you'll find these soft looking stones. And in these stones are your ochres. This is what our people used for paint. Most of the painting here the people did was body art. There was one thing that my grandfather, before he passed away, one of the main things he sort of pushed was that the reason people treat other people differently is because they don't understand them. And the more you can teach people about you know, our people, about Aboriginal people, about Aboriginal cultures, um, histories, the more understanding they'll have of those different people and the less chance of those sad things that happened in the past ever happening again. It's all about understanding, educating, and um, people, they'll gain a respect for, you know, different cultures around the world. For info on booking a tour with Juan, just head to his website. Still to come. Welcome to Australia's best kept secret. But after the break... Hey, g'day. My name's Will, and this is more than a train. That's all coming up on My Way. <laughs>